hey guys and welcome back to beast kitchen i hope everyone is doing well so today i just want to say thank you so much to my old subscribers for the love and support and to my new subscribers thank you guys and you are welcome to beast kitchen so guys i am going to show you how i make this delicious creamy cheesy golden macaroni and cheese stay with me and let's get started for the mac and cheese recipe i am going to use the following ingredients i have plain flour double Gloucester cheese, grated cheddar cheese, grated mature cheese. I also have garlic granules, onion granules, some butter, macaroni, all-purpose seasoning, smoked paprika, Old Bay seasoning and whole milk. I will list all the ingredients used in this recipe in the description box below. I am going to grate the Gloucester cheese as it's still in block. Using my grater, everything should go at the bottom of this grater. And guys, if you're wondering where I purchased this cool grater from, I actually purchased it from Amazon. I will put the link in the description box below. I have finished grating the double Gloucester cheese next i'm going to add the cheddar cheese and the mature cheddar cheese and i'm going to mix the three cheeses together i'll set this aside for later use also guys feel free to use any cheese of your choice for this recipe I've added enough water to a pot and next I'm going to season it with some salt. I will then allow the water to come to a boil before I add the macaroni. As the water has come to a boil, I'm going to add my macaroni and I'm going to cook the macaroni as per the cooking instructions on the packaging. Whilst the macaroni is cooking, I'm going to start on the sauce. So to my pan, I've added butter and I'm going to allow the butter to melt. As you can see, the butter has melted. I am now adding my plain flour and I'm mixing everything together. Please make sure your fire is not too hot when you're doing this step or the butter and flour will curdle. This is one of the common mistakes people make when they're making the white sauce. I'm just mixing everything together for about two minutes. I am now going to gradually add the whole milk and I'll continue mixing until the sauce thickens. As you can see, the sauce has thickened nicely. Next, I'm going to add the cheese. I'm now going to add half of the cheese to the sauce and I'll mix everything together. Next, I will add my seasonings. Oh my goodness, this looks so good. Just look at how cheesy this looks. I'm now going to add my seasonings to the sauce. Guys, you have to season your sauce for your macaroni and cheese. That's where the flavor comes from. As I've added all my seasonings, I'm just mixing everything together and guys, just look at how creamy and cheesy this sauce looks and this mac and cheese is going to taste so good.
the macaroni is ready i'm just going to drain the excess water and next i will add it to the sauce i am now going to add the macaroni to the sauce and mix everything together to ensure that each macaroni is nicely covered in the cheesy sauce Now time to transfer the macaroni and cheese into my oven proof dish. I have also been preheating my oven at 200 degrees. And this is the exciting part, the part that you don't count calories. Well, I don't anyway, especially when it comes to mac and cheese. <laughs> Ensure that you've added enough cheese to the top and every part is well covered. Next, we will be baking this bad boy. And the mac and cheese is ready for the oven i am going to bake this at 200 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes until it is golden and bubbly at the top and the mac and cheese is ready just look at the beautiful golden color it has it's creamy it's cheesy guys i really do hope you enjoyed this recipe please don't forget to like this video share this video comment below subscribe to this channel and I will see you next time. Bye.